So Dillian White defeats Marius Vac on a 10 round unanimous points decision. Now I predicted that Dillian White would win this po- would win this fight via points, but I didn't think it'd be as as competitive as this. Uh, the scorecards were two scorecards of 97-93. I one scorecard of 98-93. So there was an even round in that 98-93 scorecard. So three rounds for Marius Vac and the rest for Dillian White, which is about right because Wack did have some good rounds in here. He did. Dylan White looked very, very poor in this fight. You know, he got hit quite a bit, I believe. It said Marius Vac landed 167 shots, landed 114 power shots. Wow, landed 55% of his power shots on Dylan White. And I think Dylan White, you could hear him talking to Tony Bellew uh, on the Sky commentary after it, like literally just after from ringside. And I think he said defense was okay. Well, I, I seriously doubt that because his left eye looks pretty badly swollen. Because he took a lot of Marius Wack right hands. And, you know, just... I think it was the fact that Wack wasn't really loading up on the shots. If he was really loading up on them shots, it could have been could have been bad news for Dylan White. After the first round, I knew that Dylan White was not going to be a sharp. You know, he didn't look fight ready. He didn't look sharp at all. And even after the first round, you could see Mount was wide open. And, you know, there was some, there was some blowing there from Dylan White. So you could tell that, you know, he was... He was definitely tired. He was definitely not in the right condition for this fight. He was definitely feeling it. And, you know, he landed some shots on Marius Vac. You know, Marius Vac has a terrific chin. We know that. The shots that were landing were just seemingly bouncing off the chin. And basically, you know, Marius Vac, as as we all know, he just takes the shot well. And he just, he's Marius Vac. He's got an iron chin. He took all Klitschko had to offer. He took all Pvekin had to offer. And he keeps on going. So, Marius Vac, we know, excellent chin. Dylan White, I think that Marius Vac did a good job of making Dylan White work more than he needed to. Because as the rounds progressed, Marius Vac started to get more into it. He started to have a bit more success landing right hands here and there, landing some shots. Dylan White was landing some good body shots. You know, he was throwing them shots hard to the body. But even the body shots didn't necessarily have any impact on Marius Wack. He seemed to take them just fine. Definitely, as I said, took the head shots just fine. Dylan White, I don't want to say he was buzzed by anything Marius Wack did, because I didn't really see the legs stiffen or anything like that. But I think it was the seventh, sixth or seventh round where Wack caught him kind of the side of the head, side of the ear. And Dylan White, you could see he was hurt by that shot. You know, he, he wasn't, you know, legs weren't all over the place, but he was hurt kind of to the ear. He was holding his ar- hand over his ear. And it wasn't to block the shots. It was almost like, you know, how he hurt me. So, you know, it was what it was. You know, at the end of the day, you couldn't really expect any more from Dylan White, you know, given the fact this was a short notice job, given the fact he was so heavy, you know, he really didn't look sharp for this fight. And like I said, Marius Vac, I didn't think he'd have much in the way of will to win, but he did. And, you know, if Dylan White had fought someone this evening with, you know, a bit more, a bit less miles on the clock, a bit more will to win, could have been a very different story, you know, so, Dylan White, you know, he moves on from this, you know, it's 10 rounds in the bag, you know, hopefully he can go, I'd say he'll probably take a bit of time off, but hopefully he can get back in the gym, get himself in a bit better shape for next year, and whoever he fights next year, I have no idea, but this is just the kind of stay busy fight as it was, you know, I think they kind of did, I think Eddie Hearn probably was hoping this fight would be a bit easier than it was, turned out to be a bit harder, Dylan White took some shots, as I already said, but, you know, it's 10 rounds in the bank, it is what it is, you know, that's pretty much all I got to say on this fight. You know, Dylan White, not a great performance. He's not going to be, you know, turning heads. And I don't think Deontay Wilder would be quaking his boots personally. Haven't seen that. But as I said, 10 rounder, done and dusted, out of the way, onwards and upwards. We got Hunter versus Pavekin next. I'm looking forward to this fight. I think Hunter's going to win this fight on points. Let me know what you think down below. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, of course, please leave a like, subscribe for new. And as always, I will talk to you after.